January was certainly a month of contrasts. It began on a very mild note, with rain for England and Wales, and above average temperatures for the time of year. By mid-month it turned significantly colder, as a succession of weather systems led to a period of substantial snowfall across much of the country. A change to milder, wetter and windier conditions in the last few days of the month led to a rapid thaw of the snow and some localised flooding. Let's take a closer look at the weather throughout the month and some of your photos you sent in via Facebook and Twitter. January began with a mild and settled spell of weather, giving a temperature of 14.5 degrees Celsius at Colwyn Bay on the 2nd. It was also mild and dry in Scotland with a temperature of 13 degrees Celsius recorded in Aberdeen. This was short-lived as colder weather moved in along with a succession of weather systems. As these weather systems met the colder air, they gave a period of major snowfall for much of the country. A band of rain, sleet and snow spread from the west on the morning of the 14th, with Marham recording 9 centimetres of snow and a temperature of minus 13.1 degrees Celsius recorded on the night of the 16th. Further substantial snowfall occurred during the 18th as frontal systems attempted to push across the UK from the west. The heaviest snowfalls occurred across parts of South Wales with 26 centimetres recorded at Sennybridge. The Met Office also issued a rare red warning during this period, the first ever under the new National Severe Weather Warning Service. Scotland also saw the brunt of this colder weather with a temperature of minus 13.1 degrees Celsius at Braemar on the 16th and a snow depth of 28 centimetres at Aboyne on the 22nd. The wintry weather continued across Scotland over the next few days with a snow depth of 30 centimetres recorded at Estelmuir on the 25th. During the following weekend, a very deep depression moved towards the UK. At its deepest, on Saturday the 26th of January, the central pressure was 932 millibars and it was sitting some 1,800 nautical miles west of the UK. This gave some very strong winds and also brought about a change to less cold conditions. The end of the month was milder and wetter, bringing a rapid thaw of snow to much of the country. It was also very windy with a gust of 86 miles per hour recorded at Fair Isle on the 30th. Here are some of your January weather pictures you sent in through Facebook and Twitter. Send us your photos of February weather and you could feature in next month's summary video. Comment below and tell us what weather videos you'd like to see on our YouTube channel.